Welcome to my parents' kitchen. Today we are going to be making spaghetti. I've never made spaghetti, so it's going to be fun. My mom always made my spaghetti, so I am 19 and making my own spaghetti for the first time in my life. So, let's start. We are going to start with boiling the water for the pasta because I know that much. So we have the, we have the pot, it's empty for now. We have the water in the kettle, so we're just going to put that on. We're not waiting for it to boil from from the tap. No, it lights up. Let me get the pasta. Got the pasta in a special pasta box. Yes, it's brown. It's um, it's whole wheat because we are healthy. Let's just wait for the water because it's really loud, isn't it? Isn't it? So let's put the stove on and add the water. And now we wait for it to start boiling. It's getting there. It's starting to boil. Let's put it on a seven. A solid seven, I think. I think a seven is good. We're going to take the pasta. Um, I don't know how much pasta. handful yeah I'm just gonna do this much I don't know if it's like, uh, I'm gonna break it in half though if any Italians die while I do this I am so sorry ah. we need to pick them all up on the floor goddamn spaghetti all over the house now okay uh Let's uh, let's take a wooden thing. Excuse me. This is good enough. And let's just... Oh wait, you can see yourselves. That's you. That's you, right there. Can you like go in, please? Oh, what time is it? It's five past eleven a.m. So, like ten to fifteen minutes. I don't know. We're doing good. My mum always salts the pasta water. I don't because to me it doesn't make a difference. So let's just let it chill. Okay, so they've been cooking for 10 minutes. So I think that's enough. You know, I touch them. They seem pretty damn soft. Maybe, just maybe, I should not have, um, you know, broke them in half. But that's fine. You know, I'm not going to glue them back together, so... I just have to live with my mistake now. But I've I've always chopped up my spaghetti, like, you know, like at home, eating it at home, I always chopped it up because I just, because, you know, the, then the sauce would like get everywhere and then, you know, your white shirt is ruined because you always need to wear a white shirt when you eat spaghetti. Duh. Okay, let's, um, let's drain it, shall we? Yes. Which one should I use? Huh? Huh? Look how cute. This is for like powdered sugar. But I'm not a baker, so I'm not going to use it. Um, when you drain it, do it above a sink. Hmm. And then add some um, cold water. I don't know why, but apparently it helps. And we got our, our spaghetti. I should have used different pasta. I don't like this pasta. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Okay, we got this, so we just got to let it sit. Okay, and now we got to get the big pan out and... Mix it in with the sauce, I guess. I guess that's how you do it. Let's take this away. This is the sauce that I have. It's dol dolmio. Dolmio, not dominoes. Dolmio. It's a smooth tomato because there wasn't any other one. Okay, smooth tomato sauce for bolognese. Polonaise. By the way, this is a meatless spaghetti. So it's spaghetti bolognese without the meat. So yeah, so it's just going to be some pasta and sauce, um, but I will, I think, add some tomatoes or tomatoes, depends, and then some parmesan, even though I can't have dairy. Let's get a pan out. I got it. Um, I'm not sure what to do now. What does it say on here? I, you know, I'm a bit scared, like I don't want to 
burn the place down but we're going to try okay let's let's put let's heat the pan up and we'll see what what's gonna happen I guess I'm confused come on mate I really hate these sauces they stink like they they smell like nice enough for you to like want to eat it as like a bit but they're not the best in the world it's okay yeah so we're just what well, we're just heating up then I, I i don't know how much to use do i just use half the jar i have no idea This is like half, and, oh, I, I've used half, okay. I'll just add the pasta, I, I guess. Okay, I moved you so you can see a bit better. Um, we're just stirring it, I guess. I mean, we're gonna season it, don't worry. Don't worry. Salt, pepper. I'm cultured, I know how to use spice. I think this is enough sauce. Yeah. I think we don't need to add more. I don't know, should I add tomatoes to it? I've got like little cherry tomatoes, is there any point adding them? Okay, let's turn it down because it's going to burn in a second. I don't know, do I add... I don't really... Like, I don't really want to add tomatoes. Okay, let's look at some seasoning because I have no idea what we have in this house. We have a lot of things. My mum buys seasoning all the time but she doesn't use it. Oh, we got some garlic. It doesn't taste of anything. You could like use half of this and it, you, you won't feel any of it. It's this it's ridiculous. Tesco value seasoning. Oh we got some the very end of parsley. We don't have fresh parsley unfortunately. So um a bunch of I don't know. There's just a bunch of things in jars and I've no idea what it is because it's not labelled. Okay, let's look in the other drawer. I, I don't know what half of these are called in English by the way. I'm so sorry. What am I looking for? What am I looking for? I don't know what I'm looking for either. Something green, I guess. Open, bitch. It smells alright, I guess. You gotta fold it so it doesn't spill. What is this? What does it smell like? Oh, hell no. Mm -mm. Let's add some garlic. Wait, we have garlic. No, we don't. We used to have. We used to have garlic. We don't anymore. Oh, that's so sad. I need to use this. Come on. Oh. Come on. Oh, God. No. Jesus. Oh, this whole chunk came out. What do we have in here? Let's go with the pepper. You can never have too much pepper. Let's add some salt because you know we're spicy like that. Some sea salt. Let me check the fridge. Maybe we do have something fresh. We got green beans. Mom said we got parmesan, but I've no idea where it is. It's already grated. Because apparently we're that lazy. Should we add some cayenne pepper? As you can tell, I'm not good at picking what kind of seasoning to use. I just throw it all in and just hope for the best. Yes. I'm not going... Should I add the tomato? I think I should, but then that means I would have to... Like, I would have to... I would have to put it on a pan, cook it up a bit, and then add it. Uh, uh. Come on. Okay, okay, we got it. Okay, let's mix it. And now more parmesan, of course. It's layers, you know. It's all about the layers. And then, of course, when we put it on a plate, we're going to add more parmesan. Because you can never have too much parmesan. No. Am I pronouncing it correctly? I have no idea. Like, I love the kind of cheeses that kind of smell like sick. Like those crisps, like some cheddar and onion crisps, like they smell like vomit and I love it. 
I always said if they made perfume that smells like uh, petrol, I would I would buy it and I would wear it. Or freshly cut grass, you know, stuff like that. It doesn't even want to close. Oh no, it is, it's closed. Oh my god. It nearly fell, but it's fine. Yeah, so should I add the tomatoes? It'll look nicer, won't it? Let me, maybe I should try it, okay? What kind of chef doesn't try his own food? Okay. I hate this pasta. Oh, I hate it so much. I'm not gonna add tomatoes because I'm too lazy. Okay, that's it. That's it, that's my masterpiece. Look at it. Look at it. I don't have anything green to just put on it. Maybe I do. Voila. It's dry. Next time, if I ever make a part two, okay, it's gonna be better. It's gonna be better pasta, better sauce, better seasoning. It's gonna be better. It's gonna be so much better. I promise. But for now, this thing is the best we can do. If there's any Italians that had died while I was making this monster, um, R.I.P.